I want to share with you guys a spiritual practice I've been doing the last couple of years that I thought might be helpful as we're going about just all the craziness of life right now. And uh, so this is going to be a guided Christian meditation. Uh, and if that's not something you've done before, it sounds a little bit weird. You can think of it really as just a kind of a guided prayer, but there'll also be moments of uh, silence for rest or reflection. And there's also going to be moments where we're going to kind of use visualization or use our imagination to kind of put spiritual truths into our mind's eye so that we can hopefully take advantage of those truths to a greater degree as we go about the rest of our day. So what that's going to look like is we're going to start out with relaxation and visualization. That's going to be to try and reduce the, the volume of just all the noise that's um, at least in my inner life right now, my my mind, my emotions, um, even my my body to some degree in terms of like compulsive energy I seem to have for just like returning to information overload sources, even though it's not really what I want right now. And after that, we're going to close up uh, with prayer phrase of the Lord's Prayer and hopefully go from there. So well, why don't we get started? Why don't you take the next, uh, make sure you've got a good place to be for the next 10 to 15 minutes or so. There's going to be relatively quiet in your um, sequestered home somewhere. And ideally, find a comfortable chair uh, that you can sit uh, pretty upright in. It doesn't have to be like in some, you know, weird cross-legged position on the floor or anything like that. So I'll let you get there, and uh, once you get in a comfortable position in your chair, go ahead and set your feet flat on the floor in a way that feels natural to you. Kind of get set in your chair and make sure you're comfortable. Um, sit upright without straining, kind of nice and tall, uh, just so you can breathe um, from your gut and not up and down. So, all right, now that we're all situated, we'll go ahead and close your eyes and try and relax. Take some nice deep breaths again from your gut and let the day kind of unwind. You'll notice how uh, your body feels um, in your seated position. Notice your uh, legs contacting the chair. Notice your feet as they contact the floor. Notice any tension in your forehead. And try and relax it. Likewise with your neck and your shoulders, try and let the tension, let the, the stress start kind of relaxing out of your body. And continue to take just nice, slow, relaxed breaths. Now as you're kind of slowing down and entering into silence, I want you to kind of imagine, visualize the cares that you've been carrying in your head on your shoulders. Any worries you've had about yourself or others that you care about. Just the general sense of anxiety and uncertainty that I think everyone feels right now. The bombarding feeling that you get from just news happening every hour and the weary feeling that that you get from that kind of imagine those cares kind of dropping down from your head and your shoulders and collecting in your hands Let them come off of your body, let them come off of your heart. And 
Now try and imagine Jesus in front of you. He sees you, he smiles at you. He sees the cares and the concerns that you're carrying. And there's an invitation there to take those emotions, those anxieties, those compulsions, and place them at his feet. Visualize yourself doing that. And spiritually, if you can, choose to do that. Kind of take those cares and release them to Jesus' care. Let them go and fall at his feet. And notice the weight coming off your shoulders, the life kind of returning to your, your heart, to your lungs. And visualize too, looking back down at your hands and noticing that there's still a couple things that you're holding on to that you haven't let go of. And visualize letting those go as well and falling to his feet. Internally, spiritually, choose to let go of everything that you're holding on to. Trust Jesus to take care of them. Now, take a moment in silence. You can keep your eyes closed. I'm just going to pray, pray a prayer of closing. This is Dallas Willard's paraphrase of the Lord's Prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today, and forgive us our sins and impositions on you, as we forgive all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad, because you are the one in charge, and you have all the power and the glory, too, is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. Amen. All right. I hope that that was a positive experience for you. And if you feel more peace and if you feel like your heart or your mind is more kind of engaged with the heart of God, um, as you get up and you kind of enter back into your day, your, your work or your... <laughs> Uh, teaching your kids or whatever it is that you have going on right now, just take a second to think about what am I going to do with the peace that I've been given or the feeling of love that, I, that I'm experiencing now.